yesterday was International Zamenhof Day. So I created a short video talking about his life accomplishment. L. L. Zamenhof was one of the greatest linguists in history. He was born as a Polish Jew in the Russian Empire in 1888, so he knew firsthand what nationalism and division could do to a country. He studied, to some degree, Yiddish, Polish, Russian, Hebrew, German, English, French, Belarusian, as well as Classical Latin, Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic. He also studied Volapük, which is considered the first international auxiliary language, which never really took off. He studied many languages as a way to unite people, but quickly realized that it wasn't enough, because he would still be speaking different tongues with different groups of people. This is when he decided to create an international language, which would exceed the boundaries of nations and unite the world with a common tongue. He eventually called this language La Internacia Lingvo, and wrote several books and periodicals on the topic under the pseudonym Doctoro Esperanto, or Doctor One Who Hopes. Soon, people began to call his language Esperanto, based on the pseudonym. The number of Esperantists grew in the following years, and they wrote books in Esperanto, hosted Esperanto gatherings, and even made an Esperanto flag and national anthem. I mean, how cool is that? But I think the biggest accomplishment of all for this language is that there are more than 1,000 native speakers, dinasculoi, of Esperanto. There are children that have been raised speaking Esperanto natively by parents who believe in the cause. Sadly, Zamenhof's dream of an international language never really caught off, but many people have learned and are learning this language right now. And more than 100,000 people are fluent. Look, it's on Duolingo. You should give it a shot and become one of the 100,000 people in this movement for La Internacia Lingua. Thank <laughs> you.